Hi everyone, it's another Friday five minute make, so let's make a really quick card today. Now I've got all my supplies here, you're going to need some different coloured inks, some blending brushes or blending foams, um, a couple of small dies, just simple shape dies, and something like some vellum, some parchment, um, some acetate, maybe it's just some plastic packaging, let's get recycling. Um, you're also then going to need a sentiment stamp and some black ink. So let's get started. Now what I've done is into, this is actually Sizzix stencil film, but like I say you can use uh, any other sort of translucent material that will die cut and I'll just cut in a really small hexagon and I'm going to use the aperture rather than the hexagon that I've cut out I'm going to start around about the middle of my card now what I've done is I've chosen some bright colored inks and I've gone for kind of the rainbow colors excluding red red's a bit dark so I've gone for pink purple blue green and yellow and I'm going to work through these in these sorts of colors um, but I'm going to start in the middle with salvage patina, a beautiful teal colour, and I'm just going to pick these. Now you don't have to use these colours, just use whatever inks you have at home. And we're going to be really light with this, so just inking through the hexagon, not too heavy because you'll be surprised at how much ink is actually going down. So a nice light coating all the way around. So I work in little circles as you can see, and then I'm just going to take a bit more and I'm going to go just keep try and keep that flat but I'm going to go a little bit more on the lower side just to add a bit of a shadow to the shape okay so happy with that so lift that off you see you've got one beautiful hexagon then I'm going to replace that and I'm going to go to the next color so next color I'm going to do is wilted violet and pick this up again so just making sure you're overlapping really important go very lightly I've chosen bright colors today you could do this with uh, more dull colors and I don't mean dull as in boring I mean dull as in not as bright so um, some more neutral colors if you wish you could do them with even bolder colors but darker so like your reds and browns experiment so just overlapping that blue there the reason we're going lightly is because we want to leave the opacity quite low on these I really want to be able to see that blue through the purple now it's really important that this is nice and smooth where the two join and when you do cut your hexagon or I've also done a circle which I'm going to show you at the end what that looks like once you've cut those make sure you're cutting with a big border around there we go so now we can see we've got that lovely uh, join there now I'm going to overlap this with both colors as you can just see here and then I'm going to go in with my pink and I'm going to continue doing this so I'm going to do my pink here and then I'm going to work up and do my green and my yellow at the top also now I'm just going to add a few little ink splats as well which is kind of one of my trademarks on my cards you'll find ink splats everywhere so I'm just using this with the inks a little bit of water mixed up and I'm really I've chosen the middle color I'm really just going to splatter over everything like so not too much just to add a little bit of movement and interest there we go okay I'm just going to finish the card off with a nice bold black sentiment uh, I'm using a memento ink and the sentiment I'm going to use has come from my textures reflections stamp set so it says a single moment lasts a second but leaves a memory for a lifetime I'm going to just pop that towards the right hand side there we go and like I say a nice solid black ink so this is really going to stand out amongst all that color I'm using stamping platform because that just ensures a perfect impression every time there we go perfect so there's a really quick cool card now let's show you what that looks like with circles For the circle one I went a little bit lighter with the ink blending um, and I used some black dots with some black enamel afterwards um, but I really love the effect and as you can see you can use this uh, horizontally or vertically. Now if you like this and you'd like to keep up with more Friday 5 Minute Makes please do subscribe to my channel I would love that. 
plus a thumbs up would be amazing and if you could share this with your crafty friends and help them out when they need a really quick card hopefully i'll see you again very soon take care